Hey there, and welcome back. So let's keep dissecting the cylinder case. So now let's move to the 2D cylinder. Pretty much the same 2D cylinder. So remember, Snap is 3D. There is a very specific step to make it 2D. But just to do a summary, so in the previous video, we covered a lot, and I invite you to try to redo everything, not to reproduce results. So we saw how to use these options, turn, turn off, turn up on different options. So remember that if you're not happy with the boundary layer, proceed like this, erase the folder, and then change parameters. You can do the same, this is snapping, and also castellation. Remember, in castellation is where you do all the refinement features surface and region so pretty much you need to start from scratch if you want to redo that okay then how to visualize things on boundary layer options so please play with these options get familiar with this okay you will immediately identify many problems here you have my recommended options what you can change you know what i recommend then we went through extracting all these surface features how to do it in part of you how to play different combinations in the surface in the edges refinement regions and so on so play with this okay you saw that it's a very fast case okay so get used with this and also try to put the mesh inside the cylinder you know that you have the location in mesh and put it inside and see what is the outcome so let's move to to the now to this pretty much the same exactly the same steps that we did previously probably try to put less cells to do it faster you need to put a to use a super large uh, background mesh but what we do is that from 3d we move to 2d using an utility cool call extrude mesh so the idea is this one that you have the geometry and now you can create a background mesh that has to intersect this one or you can make it you know precisely fit but it's better to to have it larger you know it will it will cut it it will do a very good job so it will cut this okay and then you use strip mesh you know the name of the faces and basically you do the projection of one face into the other and you can add the you add the number of, of faces or the thickness and the number of layers so thickness one so usually in 2d we do everything by unit depth and then layers one or if you want to add more is up to you and that's all the rest is pretty much the same okay but remember that always is 3d you are going to add cells here in the spans y direction then you project one face into the other to make it uh, a unit okay so that is c2 okay so so the steps are pretty much here. You have the automatic files that may open. And I'm not going into details about uh, snappy X mesh and block mesh. It's pretty much the same as previously, okay? Exactly the same. So block mesh, surface features, you need it here. At least in this case, it's not necessarily. And snappy X mesh, see, overwrite. I'm overwriting everything. So let's run these three steps and see what we have. Okay, remember, block mesh, surface feature, is snappy, everything it is exactly the same, same rules. So this is very simple, so nothing, nothing fancy. And then we have a strip mesh, the new dictionary, and the new utility that creates this dictionary. Okay, so see that we have perfect coverage, everything. And if I go here, let's open, this is what we have, okay? Give me a minute where I am. Okay, I am in the wrong directory. So, bam, 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 bam. I was running the wrong case. So, let me clean this one. Let me go C2. Wrong mesh. Now, let me run these three steps. Okay. Okay, super fast. Let me go here. Ah, whoops. I missed one step. Okay, so super fast. So what happened? So and just to show you, you now let me recapitulate it because I think I missed. Okay, here is still three surface. See the half back compatibility with the previous naming, but it should be geometry. 
See what happened is that, see that I have the geometry, my block mesh, I created, but it was intersecting and it will do a very clean cut. See, you can see it there. However, see there, snappy X mesh is three So See that it's adding cells there. So what we need to do is convert this. See that also you have another cell here. Convert this to one, to unit depth one and one layer. So since are done that you need to know the name of the faces. So in this case, it is min and max set. So basically what I will do is project this face into this one. Okay, and that's all. So there are very, very uh, different kind of symmetries also to create a wedge. You can do it here and so on. Uh, but I'm using here a uh, planar symmetry. This is one. It's most of the time the one I, I, I use. And okay, so let's do. Okay, so after you have that, you saw that it was a 3D mesh. You have a strip mesh, and here's where you do that magic. So min set projected into max set and number of layer one thickness one and that's all so strip model linear normal there are different actions okay as i mentioned half wedge and so on so you can play with that later and let's go and do distribution base super fast apply and nothing changed pretty much the same but now see that one cell unit death and this is it, how you do a 3d mesh at how you do convert a 3d mesh to 2d okay very 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 easy uh then remember that boundary conditions you have this you need to be careful so here i'm doing some renaming so let me go originally you have it here boundary the name of the patches but remember that this max set and min set in into the they are not patched, they are the type empty. So here basically what I'm doing is that renaming. What? So let me put here renaming base and voila. And now this case will be ready to run into the so empty patch. Did it did it slash or Newman boundary conditions or Cauchy no mix? patch and then symmetry is a wall with with a uh, slip wall and wall. and there you go so the next case that is the NACA will be a uh, 2d NACA and we're going to follow these steps so let's run everything in one single there remesh remesh all it will be the check mesh step and everything and let's see what we have the mesh quality should be perfect there you go, check mesh, no problems, non orthogonality should be 22, perfect. And this is it. This is how you generate a 2D mesh. So all these steps, everything that we have done previously, apply, okay, checking the mesh, if you want to modify the mesh and stuff, uh, the dictionary is nothing changed, okay? So everything is snappy. As I mentioned, also they are very clean, so feel free not just to take it as a template. So this is it. So we are done with the 2D case. Now let's move to C3, which is pretty much still the cylinder, but now we're going to run the simulation. So we're going to talk about these boundary conditions and so on. So thank you for your attention. See you next video. Bye.